I am Vinik with AWS. Today I am going to walk you through about how to set up the AWS Amplify resource for the Amazon Recognition Face Liveness. We also have the developer guide where we have captured detailed instruction for using Amazon Recognition Face Liveness. So let's get started. First, we can create the new React app or use the existing app. And after that, we initialize the project using the amplify init CLI command to create the new amplify app. We provide the project name and we can keep the rest of the details default. After that, we need to provide the authentication method. Either we can use AWS profile or AWS access key. And we select the region. Now we need to make sure we choose the same AWS region as the face liveness backend, which we are going to configure in my next video. Now after that, the Amplify init will deploy the root stack for face liveness. Project is successfully initialized. We can observe on a few things. A top level directory called Amplify was created. It stores our backend definition and as we add features, this folder will grow with infrastructure as code template that define backend stack. A file called AWS export.js was created in the source folder. It contains all the configuration services we create with Amplify. We will see, we will use this file when connecting the front end with back end services. Now, after that, we add the auth category to the project using the Amplify auth command. And in process, it will ask. A series of questions and will configure both a user pool and identity pool automatically or if you already have Amazon Cognito user pool which you want to use we can use that one also now things to note using Cognito does not mean that you have to migrate your users by default face liveness detector uses a Cognito identity pool for the sole purpose of signing requests to recognition so as a next step, we add the auth category using the amplify add auth CLI command. We select the manual configuration and select the first one. And we provide the friendly name of the resource, uh, name of the identity pool. Now here, the important thing is we need to make sure we select the unauthenticated user as yes. The other auth options can all be default. So here, once this is done, we will run the Amplify push that will build all our backend resource and provision them in the cloud. We select yes. Amplify Post successfully build the backend resources and provision them in the cloud. It also added the auth configuration in the AWS export.js file. Let's check the provision backend resources in the AWS console. In the AWS console, we'll go to Amazon Cognito. 
and we can see like the user pool has been created now let's check the identity pool identity pool also has been created let's quickly check the settings so i have my unauthenticated identity as enabled now that we have the amplify auth set up correctly next step is to create an inline policy to enable authenticated app user to access recognition for that we'll go to im console go to the roles and select the newly created unauth role now we should select unauth role if we are not logging in but if you are using an authenticator within your application you will need to use the auth role so for this project we'll select the unauth role then we select the add permissions then select create inline policy now we can get the json from the developer guide so we can copy this json from here and paste it here we select review policy and name the policies In this video, I walk you through the step needed to set up the AWS Amplify resource for face liveness. For more details, you can also check the Amazon Recognition Liveness Developer Guide. In my next video, I will walk you through in creating the Amazon Recognition Face Liveness backend. Thanks for watching. Thank you.